Greetings children. Welcome to the online classes. I am Aishwarya. Please like and subscribe the channel for all the updated videos. The following video is for class 2, Subject General Science, Chapter 3, Air, Part 2. In the part 1 of this lesson, we learned about what is an atmosphere. It is nothing but a layer of air surrounding the earth. Then we learned that air is not just one gas. It is a mixture of different kinds of gases. And we even learned about different properties of air. The properties of air are colorless and orderless. And uh, air occupies space. Air exerts pressure and has weight. And air expands on heating. When we learned about air expands on heating, we even learned that hot air goes up and the cold air always comes down. Now, uh, have you seen a hot air balloon? Yes, right. What is seen on your screen is a hot air balloon. Um, a hot air balloon works in the same way as a boat floats on water. Heavier objects sink, but the lighter objects float on water. That is what happens with the boat, which is on the water. Like the heavier objects will sink. If it is lighter than the water, it will float. In the same way, when objects are lighter than air, uh, it will float and go up in the air. Now, if you can imagine a feather, a feather of a bird, it's lighter than the air. So it can just fly away or it is just floating in the air air but other things are heavier than the feathers so it will always drop down you have read that when we heat air it expands and become light hence hot, hot air is lighter than the cool air therefore the hot air goes up now <coughs> in a hot air balloon when we as you can see in the second picture here what happens is when the uh, the air inside the hot air balloon is heated up. Now what happens when the um, air is hot, it goes up. So because of the because it is present inside the balloon, it takes the balloon up with it. So that is the principle behind what the hot air balloons. In a hot air balloon, when we heat the air inside the balloon, the hot air inside the balloon rises. That means it goes up. As the balloon rises, it pulls up the basket attached to the balloon. You can see that the, uh, the basket is attached where people or st can stand. And uh, like at least four to five people can stand in that. And still the balloon can go up. When you want to come down, you must open the hole in the balloon. The hot air goes out of the balloon. As cool, uh, as cool air fills, the, water, uh, the balloon will become heavier and it will come down down you understood now uh, this was the one of the example for hot air balloon was an ex example for um, the air that expands on heating now air like water is also getting polluted by human activities air pollutions occurs when harmful gases dust particles smoke get into the air now air is very very important for us it is uh, it is it is like an essential for our life it is essential for us to breathe every day now what uh, because of the most of the human activities the air is getting polluted just like how the water also is getting polluted which you learned in your previous lesson the pollution means the unwanted materials like harmful gases dust particles smoke get into the air they mix with the air which makes the water which makes the air i'm sorry which makes the air dirty or which makes the air polluted this pollutants make it difficult for us to breathe and we fall ill it is not good for our health we are going to learn about different causes of air pollution now to learn differently uh, to learn it easily, we are going to differentiate the causes of air pollution into natural activities and human activities. How the air is getting polluted by the natural activities and how the air is getting polluted uh, by the uh, human activities. First, we are going to see the natural activities causing air pollution. First one is volcanic eruption. 
forest fires dust storms volcanic v o l c a n i c volcanic e r u p t i o n eruption f o r e s t forest f i r e s fires d u s t dust s t o r m s dust storms these are the natural activities causing air pollution a volcanic eruptions means huge mountain will have lot of hot lava inside that means like hot rock will be present inside the mountain now what happens sometimes this burst out of the uh, of the surface of the earth when it bursts and comes out with it comes the lot of uh, harmful gases which pollutes the air then forest fires forest fires means sometimes in the summer or sometimes even by mistake when the trees are very dry in the forest they catch fire and when they catch fire there is lot of plants in the forest lots of trees in the forest and they they get burned out okay so that is called the forest fire now this is unnecessary burning out of the plants and the trees animals present in the forest which exhaust a lot of smoke putting it into the air which becomes another cause for air pollution then dust storms dust storms means as you can see in the picture usually in the deserts in the deserts or the area that are closer to the deserts what happens is when there is huge wind it rises the sand with it or the mud with it and it goes everywhere that the uh, energy takes that the wind takes it that is called a dust storm so these three are the main three causes of natural naturally causing the air pollution now we are going to see human activities causing air pollution we saw that natural act, uh, activities which cause air pollution are much lesser than the human activities causing air pollution first one is burning coal or wood exhaust fumes from vehicles smokes from factories and construction dust first one is burning coal or wood burning anything which it gives out smoke it gives out carbon dioxide okay burning also uses oxygen and gives out carbon dioxide now when this carbon dioxide and carbon monoxide get mixed with the air uh, that it is carbon dioxide and carbon monoxide is unnecessary gases they are not good for our health so when this may gets mixed with the air it causes air pollution that's why you should not burn unnecessary things exhaust fume from vehicles this i am sure each one of you have seen on the roads now all the vehicles will have an exhaust uh, pipe in the end where the uh, after the burning of the petrol the exhaust gives out smoke this smoke which comes out of the vehicles get mixed with the air now it's not only one vehicle or two vehicles lot of vehicles on the road which gives out the exhaust fumes from um, they cause lot of air pollution this is one of the cause of human activities causing the air pollution smoke from factories smoke from factories this is just an example of one factories there are thousands of factories like this present on earth which are continuously for 24 hours there is lot of smoke coming out of these factories now what happens when this smoke unnecessary smoke comes out it gets mixed with the air which is very harmful for us the last one is construction dust now what happens in the construction sites where they are building huge buildings or even small buildings there will be lot of dust from the mud or the sand that is used in the construction site which gets mixed with the air which is in turn polluting the air now those are the different factors or the causes which are causing air pollution that is depending on the human activity now we all fall uh, ill not only through pollution but also through airborne diseases airborne a i r b o r n e airborne d i s e a s e s airborne diseases are caused by germs now what are airborne diseases airborne diseases means the disease which can spread through air when an infected person sneezes sneezes or coughs talks or laughs 
the germs go inside the air and others will inhale the air and fall ill if the person sneezes coughs or um, or the person talks or laughs the germs from his body will come out and it will get mixed with the air now when you breathe that air the germs which are present in the air will go inside our body presently what is happening about the corona virus or the covid 19 it also spreads threats through air but if you are in very close um if you are very close to the other person who is sneezing or coughing so you sh- that is why we have been suggested to wear masks so s- stay safe stay at home take care of yourself and keep learning children thank you